to go there. <laughs> for the U.S., I would say California, but um, mm-hmm. not while it's on fire. Yeah, that there's sucks. some pretty intense fires going on. I feel like pretty often. Yeah, pretty often, and it, it's it's terrible. And climate, I, climate change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That I saw sucks. something weird. Like I saw this video. It looked like they were showing like like a radar of it of like the fire or something. There was this like beam across like the radar. It was weird. You know what I'm what talking do you about? Think, yeah. What do you think about <laughs> the energy energy? Um, energy weapons where they can beam mm. energy there's a lot of fires fires uh that they say are fires but they have like melted cars and uh really the trees around these houses are not touched that doesn't make any sense hmm so and, there's like a big fire but some trees won't be touched Is that what yeah you're yeah they're like these houses will be completely like to the ground destroyed like it uh, looks like a raging fire like this fire would have destroyed anything around it, and this tree is not destroyed, not even burnt what? at all. It don't make any sense. That is and, sketchy. And then a a car out on the road, out on the road, not around anything really flammable, mm-hmm. melted, melted. <laughs> can not, fire fire can melt a car though? Yeah, right? can melt it, but but nothing to, else. Not like this melted to the point where it looks like. A little more intense. (laughs) Yeah. yeah. Like, no way just some random house fire is going to spread through the air to a car. Mm, Yeah. And then not get a tree. A lot of things are worth investigating. Absolutely. Absolutely. A lot of things are, they don't add up and they they want us to think they do. But they. I mean, even our weather, right? Yeah. We got harp. Yeah, we got harp. Uh, we got the fucking 5G that's heating us up like a microwave. It's literally using like warfare. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That they even show you that they have a machine that can create clouds. They show you. Yeah, I've seen that, right? Man, what are we going to do in like 10 years? They're not, they're not going to make any other phones. It's going to be like 6G, like what <laughs> I don't, I don't know, know man. Imagine, like, what is going to be after that? Are they just going to, like, they're going to put a, a fucking chip in our our heads or something? <sighs> like the iPhone they have on Futurama. Have you seen that? Have you seen mm. Futurama? Do you watch? Okay, so nah. they the idea is, like, this guy from the, the uh, before even 2000 mm. uh, gets, well, actually, I think on the year 2000, gets frozen for 1,000 years, and he wakes up in the year 3000. So uh, they released this iPhone that they put <laughs> in your eye socket. They put it behind your eyeball, and you blink so many times, and it brings up a screen. Oh, uh, yeah, face. yeah. It's kind of like the Black Mirror episode. Do you ever see Yeah, it? yeah, dude. Black Mirror is crazy. Dude, I think that's the predictive programming we're talking absolutely, about. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I think that whole show is that. They can, the, on the Black Mirror, they put the sensor in that girl's head, and she goes crazy because the – that she uh, she can't see things that normal kids can see because she's got this sensor. Oh yeah, it was blurred. Buzzes out. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, buzzes right. out cuss words and like. Yeah, yeah. Th- these kids were watching porn at school, yeah, yeah. which is never a good idea. But <laughs> that it would fuzz it out, and she was like, "What are you watching?" And I like, know. You can't see it. Yeah, dude, that episode is crazy. So crazy. Have you seen that? Um, the episode. Uh, uh, where they have uh, Miley Cyrus in it. Yeah, one yeah, of the, yeah. The end episodes, and they take her consciousness and they put it in those dolls, and then the the oh, um, yeah, the limit on the doll gets broken, and it's talking like how she actually talks, and it's telling yeah. telling that one girl about how because right. she was in a coma or something. Yeah, and yeah. Her her person, her handler or whatever, it was like her aunt, mm-hmm. but her handler was mad because she wasn't she wasn't getting. Uh, recognition or something because mm-hmm. she wasn't really doing nothing but setting up shows and stuff the the Miley Cyrus or Ashley mm-hmm. to the, her character was was the one putting in all the work making the content and and she had so yeah. many limits on her because she wasn't allowed because of her image right to, to say what she wanted to say I think there's a lot of artists like that right now absolutely every, uh, pretty much every artist that's signed is like that yeah gotta be careful with that 
signing. That's when they, I think they just put so much into that contract that people don't even know what they're getting themselves into. Nope. I don't think and they might not even have evil intents or anything like that, you know? No, maybe not. But the the fact that they're taking full creative ownership and a lot of times uh, they're taking the rights to their music forever. Mm-hmm. Like, um, there's this guy that's trying to get the rights to his music back and they're not going to give him the rights to his music back because they're making so much on his music. Oh, yeah. Just like Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson uh, was so powerful because he owned the original rights to his music. Oh, he did. The Masters. Yeah, he owned those. Hmm. And uh, he right, like right before, this is really fishy to me too, right before he died, he was about to buy Sony, like a part of Sony. Was he really? Yeah. Oh. He was about to make like big, big power plays. Whoa. Mm-hmm. That is a big power play. Big power play indeed. Yeah. Imagine. He had good messages. Yeah, he did. He had a song about Mother Nature. I yeah, love that one. Absolutely. Song. I hate how they how they they just like spit on his reputation, his name. And what they say about like what he did to kids, I don't believe that's true at all. No, I don't think so either. I I feel like he was empowering kids. The only, the only, um, the only uh, like people that ever said anything bad about him were the Mm -hmm. kids that came from poverty. Mm. Because all the all the kids that were like that came from like riches like came from wealthy wealthy families never said anything bad about him actually only had good things to say about him oh that yeah that makes sense i mean i i like i think he just didn't like you know whatever have his childhood and he he, he might yeah it's he weird. was a big kid yeah you know i think maybe he did have sleepers i don't think he did anything bad no not at all like you so know what either. i mean like i don't think so either yeah, they shout on his name. <laughs> I think but so. But really, there there are people that know that and that that will like shoot up for him. Yeah, That's like true. he's got he's still got a uh, fucking a huge following. It's not like he's him or his music or his message is going away anytime. Yeah, at least it's going to his family now, though. Yeah, all the money. I um, I think personally, I think he's not dead. Really. Yeah, I saw I saw this video of uh, his funeral, mm. and there's this person that looks awful lot oh, like him. Oh, really? It's a female, but it looks an awful lot like huh. him. Yeah, and no one knows who it is. I've never seen that. Yeah, look into that. That's crazy. I also, for some reason, I feel like Mac Miller's not dead. Yeah? Yeah, I so? feel like he's not dead, yeah. Um. I don't know. He might be, but I, for some reason, I feel like he's not dead. It might just be his energy, but also the way he wrote his songs, the way mm. he tells his story, mm. I don't know. It seems a little too on point to me. Like he knew it was coming, you're saying? Like he either knew it was coming or was right in this story to kind of get out of what he was in. Hmm. You you think he just didn't want the fame? You think that's what it yeah, was? Yeah, may, like maybe he was done with what he had done, and he was just trying to get out of it. But also, yeah. he I feel like he he was a true musician, and he, sure. if he is still alive, will hear his music for sure. Whether it's through him or, or through s- someone else. Yeah, like songwriting for them. Yeah, could be. It could be. You never know, right? You never know. Right. And I mean, with, with, with the way things are and the way uh, people can't, it's, it's legal to fake your own death in certain states, as long as you're not doing it to get away from a crime or like, are you serious? Yeah. Yeah. Really? I did not know that. Yeah. And with the, the, the witness protection agency, it's pretty much the same thing. Wow. There's some loopholes. (laughs) Absolutely. Absolutely. I I didn't even consider that. Yeah, there are people legal. that like criminals that go on the run, and they're they're a whole new another person for their whole life. It's mm-hmm. really it, as long as you have connection to like the dark web, the internet, no. you can fucking get anything. You yeah. can get a whole new identity. 